for approximately 11.15 this morning, fire department was notified of a man uh, uh, trapped at the bottom of a storage tank here at the uh, Sunnyside Chemical Company here in Wheeling on Carpenter Avenue. Uh, upon arrival, we were uh, met with company representatives informed that there was a man at the bottom of the tank. He was a contractor who had been hired to uh, perform a cleaning operation inside this tank. Uh, the tank is somewhere between 40 and 50 feet tall, the vertical tank, there's a 28 inch opening at the top of this tank, a hatchway. Uh, the man was at the bottom of this tank, laying face down in uh, some chemical sludge in the bottom of the tank. Um, the situation was assessed, determined that uh, a rescue was not feasible. Uh, the, the gentleman, uh, this was an oxygen deficient atmosphere, using fire department meters, we determined that there was uh, approximately 12% oxygen inside this tank as well as chemical vapors. Uh, from that point we moved from the rescue operation to a recovery operation. Uh, since then we have utilized uh, various uh, municipal departments including our own uh, from throughout the northwest suburbs, approximately 15 departments. Um, utilizing uh, trained personnel who are used to working in confined space environments as well as hazardous materials technicians because of the chemicals in the bottom of the tank. The chemical involved is a chemical known as methylene chloride. It's a common solvent in the uh, general industry. Uh, the company, the manufacturer here, repackages this material for commercial sales. Uh, they don't manufacture here, they repackage this. Uh, this contractor did not have on uh, a number of uh, critical pieces of personal protective equipment which appears that he was either overcome as a result of that, with a, uh, as a result of the oxygen deficient atmosphere, or as a result of a combination of that and exposure to chemical vapors, which are heavier than air, and would settle in the bottom of the tank here. Um, we have since removed the uh, victim from the uh, tank, and he is currently en route to the Chicago Medical Examiner's office. His uh, partner at no time was directly inside the tank, but his uh, part, uh, partner on this particular project uh, uh, expressed uh, some concerns uh, health-wise and he has been transported to the hospital for observation. I was expected to make a full recovery. I saw a couple of guys come out, look like they've been through decon. Are those your people? Or you... It's a combination of people. Like I said, this is a joint effort that's being handled out by many people. Uh, and yes, all of the personnel, including the victim, have to be decon before removal from the site because they were, in fact, in the tank and exposed and covered with uh, chemical materials. So the only, there were only two people actually taking part in the cleaning? That is correct. Okay. Did you believe this man fell down to the bottom, or is that the only way in? That is the only way. The 28-inch uh, at the top of the tank is the only way in through this tank. There is a chain ladder going down into this tank. Uh, at, at this point, I don't know if he may have fallen or if he uh, may have just been overcome by the fumes. But again, it, it is a uh, uh, immediately dangerous to life and health environment inside that tank and not survival. You mentioned that he didn't have the proper gear to be dealing with those types of chemicals. Is right. that correct? Did his partner have the proper type of gear? At, at this point, we, that's under investigation by OSHA, who is in fact on the scene. Okay. Are they heading up the investigation now that you guys have done this recovery? Yes, we have turned this over to OSHA. Okay, so you don't know whose responsibility it is to make sure that anybody going in there has the proper equipment? No, the only thing I can comment on is that this is a contractor for this service that is not an employee of Sunnyside County. And can you explain, were they going in to clean the sludge out of the bottom? Is that what you My understanding is they were going in to clean sludge off the bottom of the tank. Do you know the name work? of the company that they work for? Uh, at this time, I don't have that information. And so they would have to go down the chain ladder, somehow scoop the sludge and take it back, take it back manually by yes. in buckets or some other kind of container. Some means, and I'm not sure what they were trying to accomplish at this point. But this partner, like you said, never got into the tank? He never left the top of the tank. Mm -hmm. So he did not go into the tank. So at this point, I don't know uh, which came first, oxygen, asphyxiation, or chemical exposure. How were you guys alerted? We were notified by company representatives who called us. The uh, contractor on the top of the tank uh, went in and notified company reps who contacted us by 911. And, and the reason why he contacted is it because the man was down in the tank. Okay. He, he saw him and knew that he was trapped. Okay. So that was so his, his partner. His partner saw the man go down, realized he was trapped in the tank, 
notify company representatives who call 911. Any law firm with a net cap on them, you've got to do that because that was the other, that was the cola. Uh, there's a series of standby personnel involved here. When you make a confined space entry, uh, as we're following, there's two people that would have gone in the tank, all dressed up. There would have been two identical people dressed up on the top to be rescuers of the rescuers. And then there's additional personnel who are dressed up because when they bring their, them out, as well as the patient, there's the off gassing that goes with it. So those people are protected here when they do the decontamination. So you may, depending on which person you saw, there, there probably was about anywhere from eight to ten people that were in various stages of protective gear, depending on the phase of the operation. Yeah, I used to not refer to anybody in protective gear, but somebody dressed in some green clothes and dark, like worker type uniform. Okay. That, that seemed to, you know, uh, be to some sort of Hispanic man. Is that, uh, that may have been the uh, co worker going to the ambulance to be taken away. I, I couldn't speak for that. Do you know what hospital he was taking away from? Uh, Lumber Hospital. You don't know anything about the, uh, the deceased, the yes. danger? I have no information to give you. You know, where that will come from? Uh, that will come from the ME's office.